Hello Aries, welcome to the channel. I hope you're all doing well and thank you for your likes, shares and subscribes. Just get that cut. Impasse. Please remember this is a general reading. It will not resonate with everyone, so you can look at your moon and rising signs for greater clarity. These readings might suit you better. Impasse. Now, this is dealing with the problems as they come along. You can see it there, he's standing with his hands wide open. What the heck's going on? We things are creeping up. Expansion. Now, this is about learning, growth, um, knowledge. You're becoming wiser. Bittersweet. Now, this can feel like a bittersweet victory here. You're feeling as if you're being challenged here. These are hiccups. And what Spirit's saying with this impasse is when we're going from A to B, there are challenges. Deal with them as they come along. You've got the capabilities here. Uh, you're learning all the time. You're gaining knowledge here. But you can feel a bit fed up with things, you know, um, when these challenges show up. Now, let's have a look. Well, before I speak any more, we'll see what the tarot's got to say here. Spirit, please show me clearly what this message is about. Queen of Swords. Page of Cups. Page of Swords. The Nine of Pentacles, which is a young empress. Beautiful energy there. The Ten of Wands. That's overall central energy for the reading. The Ten of Pentacles. You're more than capable here. Aries. The Nine of Wands. Yep. Yeah. The Six of Pentacles. Beautiful energy. A lover's card. Now, this could be Gemini energy. It could be dealing with a Gemini or somebody with Gemini in their chart. But this is not just a lover's. This is about choices. So making good choices for yourself. Now, the overall central energy here is the challenging energy. We have got the nine and we've got the ten. So you feel as if the whole weight of the world is on your shoulders here. You might feel as if you're putting the work in, but you're being challenged at every, every opportunity. You know, it's like... You know, the things you've been brought to your knees every time you try, you feel as if, oh, my goodness. Now, this can feel a bit bittersweet because there might be a lot of work you've put in. You've achieved a certain amount, but you're not quite there yet. And what Spirit's saying is if you persevere, you'll get to the end of these challenges. So these are challenges that you're meant to experience and as you go experience as you go along life's path. So. We might feel as if we've got the whole weight of the world on our shoulders, but the one thing you need to do here. To end these challenges is to make some good decisions for yourself rather than walling and feeling sorry for yourself here or feeling as if you're not getting there. It's about making intelligent strategic decisions for the future so that you can resolve these challenges and you can go forward. Now, this is about being very independent minded, it's about standing on your own two feet here, most definitely. Now, she's somebody here who makes very well-balanced decisions. If I'm saying here she, it's not a gender-specific reading. We're talking about the energies on the cards. So she's somebody who's very good at making decisions. And I do feel that through everything you've been through and the knowledge you've gained, you're more than capable of making these decisions, although you're feeling a bit battered down. You have to think about your happiness. Now, it could involve apologies from someone. You could be dealing with a younger person here. But you've got an idea of what needs to be done here to go forward. Now, it might be that you're having a conversation with somebody or you're thinking about approaching having a conversation with somebody or you've got an idea here what needs to be done or said. And this could feel like a bittersweet victory, even when there's a resolution. So this could involve compromise. Uh, it could involve, involve compromise. It could involve being the bigger person. Um, it could feel like we're taking one step forward to take two, you know, and uh, one step back to take two forward. But the important thing here is that things are being resolved. We have to think about our happiness and we have to think about communication or clarity or how we're going to go forward to resolve these challenges. Now, these are intellectual decisions. This is you being independent, independent minded. You could be standing up, cutting people in situations out of your life that no longer serve you. For some of you, that could be the case. But it's going to move you on, definitely. Now, you're going to create beautiful things in the future. This will restore your... You don't have to be cutting people in situations out. For some of you, this can be the singles card. There's no doubt about that. So you are thinking about your happiness in that sense. But for those that it's not about relationships, this is about you being clear about the decisions you're making to bring balance back into your situation. So. Please understand that this is all part of the journey. Um, 
If you make well-balanced decisions for yourself, you'll get things back onto an even keel and you will continue to progress. And when you're in this beautiful energy of the young empress, you will attract beautiful things in. So restore balance as quick as possible. And that's what I was saying earlier. With this card, Spirit wants you to deal with these issues as they come along. Don't let them mount up. You're more than capable here of seeing the way forward. If you listen to your intuition, don't focus on the disappointments here. Focus on the fact that you've got the knowledge to be able to resolve these issues and let that be your empowerment in, this, in that sense. So beautiful things here. You will restore balance most definitely and things will expand. You'll go on to create even greater things. There'll be more success in the future for you. Now, it could also, if it's apologies, it could take this relationship on to new levels. It could have, you could end up with a better understanding here and things could progress very nicely. So you're choosing here to bring balance into a situation. You're choosing to be in well-balanced relationships. It could be romance for some of you. It could be friendships that turn into, um, there could be a friendship here that turns into a relationship, a romantic relationship. That's expansion in that sense. And it's somebody addressing the issues and it's somebody making their thoughts and intentions clear. So for some of you, that could be the case because you're looking very attractive here. Now, it could be you or someone else. This could flip-flop, but you're seeing somebody who's very attractive. Now, it doesn't have to be in love. It could be attractive propositions in any sense. But you're choosing here balance in your life. You're choosing to even things out, resolve issues with finances. It could be relationships, environments, or career. But you're understanding here that there should be equal give and take in relationships. We need well-balanced finances so that we can feel secure here. And also that there's no environment that's draining us dry. We're enjoying everything in our life. And this is expansion because what happens with this energy, when you're in this energy, the universe will reward you for any hard work that you're putting in. So you're making decisions here to restore balance to any situation of your life here, anything that's tangible in your life. And you're doing it very, very successfully. And you will be rewarded for that. And the end result of choosing that path here is abundance. Now, this is a 10 and this is completion. So you're completing the cycle of being able to overcome your challenges. Now, this is prosperity in every area of your life. There could be improved finances. There could be improved relationships. There could be support networks that show up, all the right people. You could have family support, friends supporting you at this time. Improvements in finances, if you're running something or trying to achieve something here in this beautiful Nine of Pentacles energy, because you're making good decisions, well-balanced decisions for your future, you will bring in a balance. And it's restoring balance, choosing to restore balance here through challenges. So using the knowledge you've gained here to make good, solid choices for your future will bring your abundance in. And it might feel a bit bittersweet at this moment in time. You might feel as if there's setbacks and you're feeling a bit upset about it. But this is all meant to be. It's testing your ability to use the knowledge you've gained and what you've been through to make good, solid, strategic decisions. And you will benefit from it. You will definitely benefit from it. Pure intention. Pure intention. The fairy of manifestation will help you to use your wishes wisely. Manifest your heart's desire with pure intention and for the highest good of all. And that's what it is. And I'm saying here, there might be a bittersweet victory. You might have to be the bigger person here. You might feel as if you're having to compromise here. But as long as you are dealing with issues from the heart in a compassionate way, you will achieve your goal, no matter what this challenge may be and what area of life it may exist. Okay, I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.